This is some wind. Come on, take it like a man! That's easy to say. It may be difficult to believe, but Lady Marta is depending on you. So please, try to act like a man in front of her. I'm not sure if I can. What's keeping you two? Come on, we need to ask if anyone's seen Lloyd. Let's hurry! Wherever Lloyd is, that's where the Centurion's cores are. So let's find the mayor and ask if Lloyd's come by, okay? Right. Hey, what's going on, there, friends? My name is Energy Degree 8, and welcome back to. Wow, this wind is really something. Right now, all sorts of strange weather patterns are happening around the world. It's all because of the joining of the worlds two years ago. But everything will work out if the Centurion's cores are hatched, right? That should be true in theory. Wait, what do you mean, theory? Things are not always as simple as they appear. Hey, what's going on, the friends? My name is Zerg and welcome back to another episode of Tales Symphonia Dawn of the New World. Last time, uh, we, uh, made the Vanguards and the Church of Martell Knights disappear from Lewin and prevent, uh, the same cause as what happened in Palma Costa. And now in this episode, we are here in Asgard, and we are going to be, um, exploring Asgard. So without further ado, let's do this. This town seems kind of desolate. This is weird. The last time I came here with Daddy, it wasn't like this at all. Your dad? Now that you mention it, where's your family? M well Watch out! Uh-huh. Sorry. It's fine. Uh, are you? It's all right. You have an interesting creature with you. Emil, what are you doing? We're terribly sorry. Are, are you alright? Marta, this man, he... This town's changed too. Huh? Excuse me, are you originally from here? A long time ago. Back then, this city wasn't even called Asgard. Sorry, this is my hometown. It brings back memories of my friends from back then. It seems they got the better of me. Forgive me. That guy, he noticed Tenebrae. Are you sure? I've never seen anyone who could do that. I wonder who he is. That's strange. I didn't think someone could notice uh, someone like Tenebrae. I wonder who that guy was. He said some strange things. What a weirdo. I mean, it's been a long time since this town changed its name to Asgard. Right. No human alive today could have been around then. Could he be an elf? Maybe that's how he noticed Tenebrae. Yeah, but even elves and half-elves only live about a thousand years tops. He must have been teasing us. Jerk. He may actually be older than his youthful appearance would indicate. Oh, you mean like you, Tenebrae? Yeah, maybe that's it. We Centurions are ageless. I will not be treated like a doddering old man. Oh my god, the, 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 those, um, like, skits, I guess you can call them, those are really, those can be really funny at times. Actually, in this part of the game, the skits are actually really, really funny. What do you mean? The wind isn't strong enough. There's no way a wind this weak could damage buildings like this. Hmm. Well, maybe some days the wind is stronger. Ah! Wow, what was that? Marta! 
Marta, look! Sorry. We'd better go find some shelter somewhere. There's a cave-like area not far from here known as the Mural Cavern. If I may suggest, perhaps we should head there to avoid the wind. Sounds good. Let's go. Wait! Safer if we hold hands. So let's go to the mural cavern if if that's what they're saying. Killing the moment. Oh I like oh I love this one. Your hands are so warm, Emil. You think so? Ah, uh, two young hearts all a flutter. How sweet. A flutter? Who says stuff like that anymore? I do. You got a problem with that? <laughs> You're funny, Tenebrae. Way to kill the moment, you two. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can never get over that. It's funny how, at some points in the game, how Marta always flirts on Emil. And, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I, think, I just think those moments are just hilarious. Okay, I believe this is where we need to go. Yeah, this is where we need to go. Here. Yeah. What's the matter? Your face is beet red. Your hand. Oh, do I have to let it go? I, uh... <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> um, I wonder why the wind got so strong all of a sudden. I believe it's linked to Lord Ratatosk's sleep. Yeah, I know that's the root of the problem. I meant, why did the wind get so strong just now? Perhaps it changes, in a manner similar to you. I know. I'm just a weak nobody without the help of Knight of Ratatosk. That's not true. You're strong, kind, and cool. Gee, I get that a lot. Really? Really? You're my prince, Emil. I wonder if she really believes all that. I hate to interrupt this fascinating discussion, but the wind seems to have died down a bit. It did? Yes, but now I hear voices. There seems to be some sort of commotion. Let's go and have a look. It'll also give us a chance to ask about Lloyd. Right. Prince of my dreams, okay. Well, let's see what's going on outside. Damn, it's Alice. Who? A top officer in the Vanguard. We'd better hide.
wonder you let Mart Mart slip through our fingers and failed so spectacularly in Lewin. Must I do everything myself? Hockey, are you listening to me? I... I apologize. Hurry and find that pesky Coletti. I'll be at the mayor's house. Ta-ta! I'll search the city's perimeter. While you do a thorough sweep of the city. The Chosen of Regeneration is a woman with blonde hair. Bring in anyone that fits that description. And do it quickly, or Lady Alice will have all of our heads. Now go! For the liberation of Silverunt! So, that girl is a member of the Vanguard? That's Alice, the captain of the Vanguard's combat unit. She's a complete sadist. Be careful around her. Be careful? But why? What's that supposed to mean? Be careful. Well, we won't be able to go to the mayor's house now. All right. Then let's go look for the Chosen, Colette. Oh, yeah. The Chosen and Lloyd traveled together, right? Mm-hmm. If we can't find Lloyd, we might be able to ask about him. And maybe... Maybe what? Mm. Well, let's just look for the Chosen. They said that the Chosen is a woman with blonde hair. Let's search the city for her. However, please remember to keep your distance from the Vanguard and stay out of their sight at all times. Right. I agree. There's no point in getting caught up with them. Okay, so we better go look for, um, the, uh, Chosen of Regeneration. Alice looks like a harmless girl, but she makes a powerful impression. Maybe scary is a better word. Watch yourself around her. She's a sadist. Actually, a super sadist. What's a sadist? The term sadist is related to the concept of sadism. It is the deriving of pleasure by causing pain in others, physically or mentally. Okay. How exactly am I supposed to be careful around her? Don't go near her. Don't speak to her. Don't respond if she speaks to you and swear to love only me. Then you'll be fine. What? What are you talking about? Lady Marta's search for love is among the saddest I've seen. Huh? It's the saddest versus the sadist. Ouch. <laughs> oh my god, love only her? Gosh. That, I don't think Emil could ever do a good job in doing that. Why does Alice call Hawk hockey? It's like she was making fun of him or something. Actually, Alice only comes up with those little nicknames for people she likes. So the fact that Alice calls you Mart Mart must mean she likes you a lot. No, it's the opposite for girls. That nickname means I'm on her bad list. This is confusing. I hate to change the subject, but do I really come across like an old man? Huh? Wow, you've been worrying about that this whole time? I don't even know what Tenebrae's even talking about. The Chosen is a woman with blonde hair. Where can she be? She may be the Chosen, but she is still only human. Since I have not met her, sensing her will prove difficult. I wonder what kind of person she is. Have you met her before? I've never met the Chosen of Regeneration. And to tell you the truth, I really don't want to meet her now. Oh, sorry I asked. Why are you apologizing? Um, because Marta's scaring me. So Lloyd hasn't stopped by here either. I'm sorry that I couldn't be of more help, Chosen One. Oh no, it's quite all right. Thank you. You're the Chosen of Regeneration? Chosen of Regeneration! I have something to ask you. Y yes 
Two years ago, the world regeneration caused the separated worlds of Silveront and Tetha'ala to become one. And during that process, a giant, fearsome tree appeared in Palma Costa and destroyed the city. I was told it happened because you tried to run away from your task of world regeneration. Is that true? Yes. My mother was in Palma Costa when that giant tree attacked! You call yourself the Chosen? You're nothing more than a coward! How dare you! If you hadn't run away, my mother would still be alive today! I'm so sorry. Gee, I wonder what happened there. I'm not even gonna get right into it. I am worried about Lady Marta. Yeah, she was really upset. So Lady Emil Marta does not like Lloyd, and Marta does not like Colette. And the loss of their hometown. It must have been hard for her. Yeah. Well, gotta look for Marta. Look, she's right here. Marta. I'm sorry. I didn't mean for you to see me like that. It's okay. When I saw Lloyd, I got so angry I could barely control myself. You're not mad at the Chosen? Why would he? I wouldn't be mad at her. You were born in Palma Costa too, right? What were you doing when that monstrous giant tree attacked Palma Costa? I wasn't in the city then. Oh. Yeah. I wasn't there. I joined the Vanguard because I blamed the Chosen for destroying Palma Costa. But I do understand. I know that it must have been really hard for her to seal away the designs and regenerate the world. I know that there's probably a good reason why what happened in Palma Costa was unavoidable. But she just admitted to the rumor she'd run away. I just can't forgive that. Hey you! You just said something about the Chosen. Huh? We're the Vanguard! The Silverante Liberation Front! A resistance movement dedicated to punishing the Tetha Alans and the Church of Martell for persecuting Silverati as if we were half-elves. We are currently looking for the Chosen of Regeneration, a Silverati traitor who is sympathetic to the Tetha Alan people. If you have information about her whereabouts, tell us. The Chosen left the city already. What? Damn it! She didn't really did that, did do that, did she? That? The Vanguard has declared the Chosen a wanted traitor, who pretended to save Silveront even as she betrayed it to Tetha'ala. If they catch her, so you want to keep her alive even if you don't like her? That kind of does not I make any know sense. The Vanguard was a group of such extremists. Even though I can't forgive the Chosen, the Vanguard's latest actions are even harder to overlook. Well, that makes more sense. Wait, you mean the Vanguard's different from what it used to be? It's because Commander Brute has changed. I hate to interrupt, but I think we should get going. With a vanguard crawling all over the city, I hardly think it's prudent to dawdle. Uh, right. Sorry, I didn't mean to trouble you. Lloyd hasn't been around here, so maybe we should set out for Palma Costa next. Yeah, good idea. Let's go. And with that, Marta joins the party again. 
Hey, little guy. Wait. What? You're the ones who were mean to the Chosen. Well, I wasn't mean to the Chosen. It was Marta. Don't pretend you weren't. I saw you. You shoved the Chosen in Aisha's house. Why? Why not? She deserved it. How can he see? The house does not have a front window. In the name of world regeneration. You don't know what you're talking about. Tell Jeez, the man, why would you tackle into me to her? Hey, did you just hear something? It sounded like a monster's howl. You stay out of this. Ah! Oh no. That must be one strong win if if if, if it's able to pull we him away. Alright, let's do it. Oh boy. I actually really like this music. This music sounds so cool. You just crawl to get over there? Why can't you just walk on it? Why are you here? Did you come to laugh at me? Don't be ridiculous. And don't move. We are here to help. Ah! Oh god. Emil! Tenebrae! Help! Understood. I'm scared. But I have to do it. Whoa, what the heck are those things? Oh, it's her. Not so fast, darlings. Uh, you're that sadist. Hockey! Go get him! Oh, what the heck? And look what we that must be really a part of the shit. But I'll be taking Ratatosk's core. Stop! Well, aren't you a stubborn one? Lady Alice, Commander Brew gave us explicit orders that Lady Marta was to be taken alive. But it's not my fault that she fell to her death because of the wind. I'm sure the Commander will understand that accidents can happen. I can't hold on anymore. Angel Feather! Why did you save us? The Vanguard is after you! You're in danger! I know, but I couldn't just leave you. Oh, I am so lucky! Now I can take out two little birdies with one stone! Hockey! Athos! Portos! Take care of them! Oh, great. Here we go. And so the battle between Hockey, Anthos, and Portos begins. I'm going to aim for Portos first because uh, Port because um, I re I usually like to get rid of the smaller enemies first. Um, which uh, oh great, uh, I I really hate this boss. I, I really hate this boss fight because uh, it, it gets really annoying, especially like um, like there's like a, where at a point where like. Uh, all three of them just targets on you, and, and it's, it just makes it unfair. It's so hard to handle. That, that's why I hate it. Okay, there we go. There goes um, Anthos, and now we're getting. Or there goes Portos. Now we're getting for Anthos. Um, so which uh, Anthos is almost down. There we go. And now for Hawk. Last but not least is Hawk. Hawk is um, the is is the harder one to, to deal with. It, to do, to deal with. Look at that. Oh, I'm dead already. Okay, well, I'm going to use a lot life bottle. Here we go. Okay. Alright, time to use uh, Unison Attack so I can uh, put in some damage on him. Because this... Oh, God. Come on, heal me up. Heal me up. Thank you. Oh, man. This is crazy. Oh, my God. We just won. Oh, my God. Usually, that would take me a few tries. Ooh, Marta learned a skill. What did she learn? She learned... 
back step. Okay, so she also has back back step. Lethos has back rush as an art. Okay, it's pretty cool. We're useless? It's just the person who just lost. Well, actually, we didn't battle you, but, like, your team lost. Is everyone okay? Yeah. Chosen one! Thank you! Don't mention it. I'm just glad you weren't hurt. I know apologies can never make up for what happened, but... I want you to know I'm truly sorry. You have no idea what she went through. The Chosen was ready to give up her life to protect our world. My dad died in Palma Costa too, but it's not fair to blame the Chosen for that. That is true, actually. Oh, Marta, we should leave before the Vanguard comes back. I'm sorry. I'd like to see the Chosen one more time. Are you sure? I still haven't thanked her for saving my life. I'm sorry, but I need to do this. I haven't thanked her either. Let's go together. Thank you. And just like that, um, we, uh, Chosen helped us, even though she knew it would get her into trouble. But then, why did she try to run away from her responsibilities while regenerating the world? I just don't get it. A lot of things don't make sense, Marta, and you just gotta have to deal with it. Anyway, um, I remember on my practice fall, I died like a bunch of times in that boss fight. I can't believe I actually got that done in one try. But anyway, that is gonna be it for this episode of Tales of Symphonia Dawn of the World. Next time, we're going to go, uh, see, uh, the Chosen of Regeneration and thank her for saving us for that amazing battle. So, see you guys later. Bye bye